let us solve this question first we convert this equation into a quadratic equation as you all know a quadratic equation is an equation whose degree is 2 the given question degree is 4 therefore we convert this equation into a if you want to convert this equation into a quadratic equation then we need to have the degree 2 therefore to convert the degree 4 into degree 2 we take x power 2 as common therefore we get 2 uh, therefore we get 2x square from this we get 2x square when we take x square common from x cube when we take x square common we will get x minus from 11 x square when we take x square common we will get 11 plus from x when we take x square common we get 1 by x from 2 when we take x square common we get 2 by x square this is this will be equal to 0 so we send the value of x square to the rhs side this will go uh, when we send this x square to the rhs side this will become 0 therefore the equation we got is x square plus x minus 11 plus 1 by x plus 2 by x square is equals to 0 so from this term and this term we take 2 common we get x square plus 1 by x from this and this we write as it is that is x plus 1 by x minus 11 is equals to 0. We, therefore from this we take as you know we need to convert this equation into a quadratic equation. Therefore we take x plus 1 by x as t. Therefore this term will become t. To get x square plus 1 by x square, we do squaring on both the sides. On squaring, we get t square plus x plus 1 by x whole square will become x square plus 1 by x whole square plus 2 2x into 1 by x. And this x and x gets cancelled. Therefore, we get t square is equal to x square plus 1 by x square plus 2. So, we need to get x square plus 1 by x square therefore we send this 2 to the left hand side to get t square minus 2 is equals to x square plus 1 by x square so in the place of x square and in the place of x square plus 1 by x square we put t square minus 2 and in the place of x plus 1 by x we put t and minus 11 will be as it is therefore we put therefore we get therefore we get 2 into t square minus 2 plus t minus 11 is equals to 0 when we multiply 2 we get 2 t square minus 2 2 is 4 plus t minus 11 is equals to 0 and we get 2 t square plus t minus 4 minus 11 will become minus 15 will be equal to 0 so we need to solve this so we got a quadratic equation we need to solve this equation i have solved this equation by butterfly method you can also use the formula minus b plus r minus under root of b square minus 4 ac by 2a from which you have to substitute the value of a as 2 b as 1 and c as minus 15 so cons cons solving this equation i have solved by butterfly method that is first we multiply minus 15 into 2 t square which will become minus 30 t square this minus 30 t square can be written as minus 5t into 60 therefore in the place of t we substitute 60 minus 5t therefore we get 2t square 
plus 6t minus 5t minus 15 is equal to 0. From this two term, we take 2t common, we will get t square plus 3. From this two term, we take minus 5 common, we get t plus t is equal to uh, t plus 3 is equal to 0. So, so the roots we get is 2t square minus 5 into t plus 3 is equal to 0. 2 2t minus 5 is equal to 0, therefore 2t is equal to 5 and t is equal to 5 by 2. From this, we get t value as minus 3. Therefore, we got the value, we got the roots of this quadratic equation, that is, we have successfully found the value of t. The question says, to find the value of x that satisfy this equation, Therefore, we got two values of t, therefore, now, as we have took x plus 1 by x is, is equal to t in the previous, therefore, we got t value as minus 3 and plus 5 by 2, therefore, we substitute in the place of t, first we substitute pi by 2 and and then we substitute minus 3. On substituting pi by 2, we will get x plus 1 by x is equals to pi by 2. We take x common, we will get x square plus 1 is equals to pi by 2. On cross multiplication, we get 2x square plus 2 is equals to 5x. And then we will get, we will send this 5x to the left hand side. We will get 2x square minus 5x plus 2 is equals to zero so this is a co quadratic equation we solve this to find it roots we use a formula minus b plus r minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a the value of h2 b is minus 5 and c is 2 therefore we get minus of minus 5 plus r minus under root of minus 5 whole square minus 4 into 2 into 2 divided by 2 into 2 Therefore, minus of minus 5 will become plus 5. 5 plus r minus under root of 5 minus 5 square will become 25 minus 4 into 2 into 2 will become 16 divided by 4. Therefore, 5, 5 plus r minus 25 minus 16 will become 9 divided by 4. Root 9 will become 3. Therefore, we got two rules that is 5 plus 3 divided by 4 comma 5 minus 3 divided by 4. <clears throat> this will become 8 by 4 that is 2 and this will become 2 by 4 that is 1 by 2. On substituting the value as minus 3 that is t value as minus 3 we follow the same procedure that is first we take calcium we will get x square plus 1 is equal to minus 3 and we do cross multiplication we will get this quadratic equation from this the value of a is 1 b is equal to minus 3 and c is equal to 1 therefore we substitute the values of a b c to get the roots from this we get minus 3 plus r minus under root of 3 square minus 4 into 1 into 1 divided by 2 into 1. Next we get minus 3 plus is 3 square will become 9 and minus 4 divided by 2. Therefore minus 3 plus r minus under root of 5 by 2. We can't evaluate this further therefore we stop is we stop it as it is. Finally we got two values two values as 2 comma 1 by 2 and next two values as minus 3 plus or minus root 5 by 2 therefore the finally the x values are the finally we got x x values are 2 comma 1 by 2 comma minus 3 plus root 5 by 2 comma minus 3 minus 5 by 2 so these four values are the final final value final values of x that satisfy the given equation thank you guys thank you for watching my video